Hi, old peeps. I'm going to tell you about my day. It's pretty awesome. Uh, my mom came over. Um, you know, my niece lives in my neighborhood. And her brother, my nephew, lives in the next town over. And my son lives in my town. Um, and... Of course, I live here, so there's three of us in San Rafael and one in San Anselmo. Well, my nephew is getting ready to move out of state. And so my mom came over so I could see him one last time and say goodbye. And we went out for lunch. And we have this restaurant that we like to go to in Fairfax. California and it's called the Hummingbird Cafe and they have Cajun food and Louisiana food only I'm from Tennessee so I say Louisiana anyway um, I was gonna have pie for breakfast but the waiter told me that there wasn't any pie I said what <laughs> Now you can't you you can't serve southern food and not have pie. Anyway, the cook didn't make pie, so there was no pie. So I decided to have I love this. An alligator omelet. That's what I had for breakfast. Oh, it was lunch, but I hadn't really eaten breakfast, so it was breakfast. Yes, I had an alligator omelet, and it was cooked in the Cajun way, in roux with the Holy Trinity, which is green peppers, onions, and dun da da. Who knows the third thing? Not garlic. It's celery. Yeah. Except I didn't. I could taste it, but I couldn't really see. Shoot. Okay, and then this, uh, I don't think this one is going to work. Okay, a couple days ago, I went out and harvested some peppers because I took my tomatoes down because the plants were very stressed out and I was tired of them. I was tired of the white fly. <laughs> um, anyway... So I harvested some peppers, and this is what they look like. Okay, this is a fresh pepper. It's not dried, not yet. But look what I just made. I have strung up all of my almost newly harvested fresh red peppers and I am going to hang them up and they will dry and I will crumble them up for um, pepper flakes. Yeah, and I, this year, am going to try to um, make powder, chili powder, out of them. So I'll be refilling my pepper flake jar and making... Um, chili powder okay. with it you know a mortar and a pestle yeah and I was thinking I'm not sure what to do with my habaneros because I took a bite out of one and it really is too hot for me I I can give them away of course you all know if you follow me on Facebook that I opened one and I opened it you know and got the seeds out and there weren't very many because it's a little pepper because I want to grow it again next year and I did it barehanded and so anyway you know it kept burning me and burning me and burning me no matter I washed my hand 35 times 45 times a million times Finally, it doesn't burn anymore. But I can handle these red peppers, you know, um, raw and their juice and everything, and it doesn't burn me. 
Anyway, so that's it. I got to tell my nephew goodbye. Last night I had dinner with my son and we went out and it was very delicious and so good to see him. And then when my mom brought me back, I asked her if she would take the baby sleep sack to my niece because she was just driving the three minutes to go see her. So she did and my niece um, messaged me a picture of, you know how pregnant ladies do? They'll stand there with their big bellies, you know, and hold the little hat up or whatever. Yeah, she did that. She sent me a picture of herself holding the sleep sack up. And it fits! Oh my God, it fits! It's so awesome. It's, um, we cannot wait to see that baby. <laughs> She's coming at the end of January, so anyway, um, that's it for now, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.